Live from the news leader in Northern California, News Center 4 at 6. Here's the very latest. Plus, we'll serve up some beans and chips. You'll see what Silicon Valley is brewing and how it could affect your cup of joe. All right. If you're into coffee, the hardcore drinkers can rejoice because there is a new high-tech way to roast custom blends of your favorite beans while you wait. High-tech business reporter Jim Goldman says you may want to get ready for a Java revolution. Good grandma, though. Yeah. Mr. Coffee, meet the Coffee King. A new high-tech coffee roaster at the upscale Draeger's Market in San Mateo. The first major advance in coffee roasting in more than a hundred years, inspired by Silicon Valley technology. It doesn't quite have a mind of its own, but it's very close. Traditional coffee roasters handle hundreds of pounds of coffee at a time and tend to throw off a nauseating odor in the process. But this computer-controlled Java gem can roast as little as a pound at a time, and it uses Silicon Valley clean room filters to eliminate the roasting stench. The machines manufactured in San Carlos use a laser beam to control the roasting process down to milli-degrees. Not just blending coffee beans, but controlling exactly how it's roasted. There's actually an eye that's looking into the roasting drum and visually taking a look at the beginning of every roast of the green coffee. Right now I'm doing a house blend. An onboard touchscreen network computer also keeps track of just about everything, the ultimate bean counter. It could tell us uh, when it needs to be refilled, uh, when a filter needs to be changed out, when, uh, when it's time to take the heat exchanger off and uh, clean it. So how does the latte-loving public like it? Well, this guy couldn't tell the difference, but just about everyone else we talked to raved about it. Roasted whole bean coffee is perishable, just like bread or milk, so freshness does make a difference. You never run into that bitter taste that you do in a lot of places. This is a little bit strong, but it tastes very, very good. It's great. So, yeah, it seems like an awful lot of money and technology to spend on fresh roasted beans, but never, ever underestimate the power of a good cup of coffee. In San Mateo, I'm Jim Goldman, New Center 4.